Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am just doing a Bella from Twilight inspired hair, outfit, makeup kind of like situation. Um, I actually really like it. <laughs> I've been really digging like the pale skin and dark hair lately, if you can't tell, which is like, I never thought that I would be that way ever because I've always loved having blonde hair and tan skin, but you know, it's just a different look. And I'm actually wearing brown contacts, so it like, it's just a very new look, but I think it's really fun and I actually really like it. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching, please. Okay, you guys. That's my camera so bright. Okay, so I just curled my hair. Um, super simple, I didn't think that that needed any like part of the tutorial. I just curled everything forward with a one inch barrel wand curler. And this is how it looks. And yeah, so now we're gonna move on to makeup. And I also just pinned these pieces to kind of like get that look that Bella has. Um, now we're just gonna move into makeup. I wanna make myself a bit paler because I want to look like a vampire. Oh, first things first though, before I even get into foundation, I need to put on my contacts because I don't want to do that after and mess up my makeup. Um, these contacts are from TTDI and I've been loving them. I post them on my Instagram. Like they're just, it's so fun to like see how you look with different eye colors. I've like played in it with um, Photoshop before, but like it just is so weird to like see it in person and they're so fun to play with. And I really like how I look with brown eyes. That's why I'm doing this tutorial is literally just so I have an excuse to wear the brown contacts. <laughs> I just like how they look. I've always wanted brown eyes. I think that it's like my favorite eye color. I know people are gonna think I'm weird for saying that because like people like light eyes so much more because they're like more interesting or whatever, but I've always had light eyes, so I, you know, everybody wants what they can't have. So anyways, if you guys want to try some contacts out for yourself and get a discount, you can use my code. I'll have it here. I'll also have it linked down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in now though. So I'm back after charging. Oliver's here, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> he brought me my headband so I can finish my hair because Bella's in the first, I almost said first season, I meant first movie. She's got her little, you know, cute little headband because she's so quirky and innocent. Um, so I'm just gonna do this and then kind of like push it forward. No, I don't like that. She still has like her part, you know? Okay, that works. So, yeah. All right, so for to make my skin look more pale, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia palette, palette. And I'm gonna use the palest shade from that. Oh yeah, that's pretty pale, perfect. I'm just gonna make myself as pale as possible. <laughs> And then I'm going to take the contour shade. Terrifying. From that palette. And just contour a little bit so I don't look so psycho. Scary. Fun though. I'm going to use some powder bronzer. I'm not gonna, it's probably gonna drive you guys insane, but I'm not gonna set my face with powder, even though I should, but my skin is so dry right now. Like, I don't even know if you can tell, like I'm literally not even shiny and I just used cream foundation all over my face. That's how dry my skin is, but I'm just gonna take some of my Bare Minerals bronzer. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some blush on. I don't know what I wanna use. I wanna use something really light and pinky. 
but also like really not that noticeable. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one. So I have this one from Ulta, it's in the shade Freesia and it's just their mineral blush. I think it's just a really pretty natural pink. I'll pop that on the cheeks because Edward is gonna make me blush even though we all know I like Jacob. <laughs> Comment down below, were you team Jacob? Or I guess currently <laughs> team Jacob or team Edward. I always was team Jacob. I don't even think Taylor Lautner's cute at all, but like purely just from a survival standpoint, I feel like Jacob would just take care of me. I'm a very cold person. I can't regulate my body heat because I'm anemic. So I like the fact that he would keep me warm. <laughs> okay, so that's blush. I actually really like how I look right now. Is that weird? I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brow pencil and I'm just gonna use that for my brows. It's really, it's, I think it's like the darkest shade. So now, for eyes, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna... One moment. I'm gonna take this palette from L'Oreal in this shade. Okay, in the shades Violet Sunrise. It's like a little palette. I honestly don't even know if they sell this anymore. I got this from my mom like a long time ago. But it's just like a purpley eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna take this purpley, mauve kind of like gray shade and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. And then I'm gonna put that, I'm actually not gonna put it under my eyes because I want my eyes to look really like bright and open. And then I'm just gonna take the really matte white shade and put that all over my lid. I feel like I look like her right now, this is kind of weird. That's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Um, super easy. And to keep it going with that kind of natural look, I'm gonna take the dark purple from that and use that as my eyeliner. So I'll zoom you in. You can see the contacts up close. You can kind of see like the green of my eyes still, which is interesting. gonna go in with my falsies push-up angel I like this one because the brush is super it's only on one side and it's very like rubbery I'm even gonna wipe off the majority of the product and just put that on my eyelashes really just to darken them more than anything I want it to look like I'm not wearing mascara Like so. And then I'm gonna go in with some lip liner. I'm gonna use, I need to wipe off any chapstick I have. I'm gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. It's like a really pretty light natural nude.
okay voila and then for the lips i'm gonna use a really light pink kind of nudie lipstick this one is from okay i changed my mind i'm gonna use this one from mac in the shade uh patisserie very natural and then I'm even gonna go on top of that. Although she never looks like she's wearing gloss, I'm just gonna put a little bit because I wanna lighten up my lips just a tad. So I'm gonna use this one in the shade Blushing Belgrades from Rimmel. It's just a nice light pink. And I'm just gonna brush out my hair one more time. Oh my gosh, I feel like I look like her. Fun. I'm just gonna try to pull this out a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on the rest of my outfit now and then I'll show you guys how it looks. So yeah, I'm just wearing this jacket that's actually from Abercrombie. It's my mom's from like ages ago, but I thought it was literally perfect. And it's plaid on the inside, which I feel like is super Bella. And then I'm just wearing this baseball tee that's green very kind of that vibe and then I'm wearing my Hollister low-rise flare jeans because I feel like that just really completes the look with some air forces and yeah all right you guys so that completes my Bella from Twilight <laughs> makeup and hair and outfit tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and definitely use my code if you're interested in trying out any contacts and be sure to hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching